Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be discussing on a SQL query, which we are going to write to create the following sequence, which is a pyramid structure using stars. So we might have done this kind of sequence generation in other programming languages like C, C++. Let's see how we can do this using SQLs. So, so, so to do this, we will be using recursive CTE and let's see how we can write the query to generate the sequence. So CT is nothing but create table expression. Let's see how we can write the query to get this sequence. So first step will be like with CTE. This is a create table expression. Syntax is like with CTE as, and then open and close braces. So inside this, we will write select one as ID, let's say, and we will do a union all, and then select ID plus one from this CTE, right? And how many lines do we want to display in the sequence? Let's say five lines. So where ID less than equal to five. So this is our inner statement. This is the initialization part. Initialization part. And the second query after union all is the recursive part. So let's see what happens when we run this query. Select ID from CTE. So when I run this query, it should give me sequence one to five. As you can see below, we're getting the sequence generated starting with one till five, right? So, but our requirement is to print a pyramid structure in this format using star. So we are going to use the replicate function. So before we modify this query, let's see how to use the replicate function. So it's like select replicate, let's say any character A and the number of times you want to repeat this character. Right? So if I run this query, I should get the A repeated thrice. You see, A, A, A is coming. So if I give a space in between, it's like A space, A space, A. Right? So we are going to use this replicate function to generate the pyramid structure. So as we saw, when we just try to select ID in this line number 19, we get the sequence. So we just need to add a replicate function here. Replicate, what we want to replicate, let's say we want to replicate star and let's give some spaces for better visibility. And how many times you want to replicate will be the ID part. So the first time it will be one star, second time it will be two star, third time it will be three stars. And let's see if this query works. Great. If you see the results, we got the pyramid structure using stars. And this is how we can get this output with recursive create table expressions.